Hey guys, welcome to the Sophisticated Scoundrel. Tonight, I am drinking on Tanjaku whiskey. It's one of my favorites. Great for an evening sip. And today I'm going to talk about uh, a question that I've been getting asked a lot lately on Instagram, and that is, how do you not be so serious all the time? Um, a lot of guys tend to just have a very serious persona and they're sharing with me that this is hindering their interactions with women. Um, they, could, they could get the initial interest from a girl, um, but because they're so serious, they don't know how to fun, the girl just loses interest pretty quickly. And so as you can see, uh, being serious um, is pretty much means that you're not having any fun. And Girls love having fun. They want to be, they want to laugh. They want to goof off. They want to feel the giddiness of laughing. That's why um, a lot of comedians, they do really, really well initially with women because they make them feel something so strongly. Um, and I said initially because as you could, you've probably seen the dating history of a lot of comedians that uh, they usually... They date a lot of really attractive women, but you know, you see a couple months down the line and they're already broken up. And I think it's because a lot of comedians, at least the ones that I know, um, they tend to have a very self-loathing personality. They are hilarious and they've tapped into something that's really, really true to the human experience, but they oftentimes come from a very brutal and traumatic past. I used to work with some comedians and uh, they were all like that. So it's unfortunate because they're funny as hell and uh, who does not love a good comedy show? So let's take what we can get from the positives from them and uh, incorporate it into what we do as men to not be so serious all the time. And it's a hard thing to explain because uh, me personally, I'm a jokester. I, jo I goof off all the time. I grew up doing this. You know, my family was always telling jokes, always uh, teasing each other, playing little pranks on each other. And if you are not used to this, if you didn't grow up with it, sometimes it could feel really unnatural. So let me just try to explain, first of all, some of the friends that I've had over the years who are really serious and who struggle with this, some of the things that I've shared with them. So I have a buddy and he tends to overthink things. He's in his head a lot of the time. He is analyzing things. He's worried about if this happens or if that happens. Um, and a lot of the times he just simply has no confidence in the decisions that he makes. So making a joke, it just seems like a total foreign concept to him because he does not want to risk, you know, making somebody upset. And, and in this case, I'm talking about women. He doesn't want to risk saying something that would make a woman upset. Um, he wants things to be accurate. He wants things to you know, go as planned. He has no room to goof off a little bit. He has no room to uh, roll with the punches if things don't go according to plan. And that is something so key um, if you want to not be so serious all the time is to be able to roll with the punches. You know, you have to be able to adapt, you know, because chances are a lot of the times things are not going to go exactly how you planned it. So what are you going to do? Are you going to lose control? Are you going to lose your emotional self-control and just lose your shit? Or are you going to be able to take that, laugh it off and come up with a plan B? And that really is a huge part in not being so serious all the time. So. Getting back to my buddy who just overthinks things, um, the things that I've told him to work on or suggest to him to try is that if you're with a girl, she really has no idea what your plans are. If you're take, let's just, I'm just using, uh, taking her out on a date, for example, she really has no idea what you have planned. So let's say, you know, you said, hey, I'm going to pick you up at seven o'clock and you're going to take you to some restaurant or whatever it is. And then you find out, oh, you know, the day of the date, oh, it's closed. So, you know, that's a, that's something where you don't need to get uptight about, you know, maybe your plan didn't work, but she doesn't know that. All you need to do is then is switch gears and say, oh, okay, cool. Well, you know, you pick her up in her mind. She just figured you had this thing whole, planned the entire time. 
in your mind, you might be like, damn, I really wanted to go to that taco spot, but it's closed, so now we're gonna go to this burger joint instead. And you just roll with it, you act as if, hey, nothing happened. So I think a big part of it is being able to quickly move from one plan that you have to the next. That's a really great thing to keep in mind if you don't wanna be so serious all the time, right? Um, in more one-on-one -on -one banter, I think this is what a lot of guys have been asking me is like, a girl will talk to them and they're just so serious. They just answer questions directly. And today, actually, some guy was asking me, um, or he was getting, seeking my feedback because a woman or a girl said to him, you're so hot. And he just said, you too. <laughs> It's like he just said, you know, like that's all that he said. He had nothing, he didn't know what to say to that. And he, you know, he realized like, oh shit, like that wasn't a very good response because it's kind of like, it, it's just, is, it's cheesy. It doesn't show, it just is like, it kind of sounds like a puppy dog. Um, like, oh, you too. It, it just sounds like, oh, golly gee whiz, that's so great. Um, so I wrote him back and I said, okay, yes, you miss an opportunity to have a little fun with that because if a girl says, oh, you are so hot, then you could say something really simple. You could just say like, yeah, I get that a lot. Or you could say something like, oh yeah, I mean, I'm for sure a 10 minimum. Or you could even go the other way with it and a little bit of a self-deprecating humor. You could say something like, ah, you should see me with all this make buff. You know what I mean? So it's like you can play with it, but you want to say something in such a way that has a little charm, a little fun. You want to play with her, you know, because being told something so intense, like, oh, you are so hot. Obviously, she's into the guy. And so you want to take that emotion she's feeling and play with it a little bit more, intensify it. And that's why, you know, if you come in there and say something like, yeah, I get that a lot. Um, and you know, you give her a little wink, a little charm and laugh it off. Then it's just kind of like, she's like, oh my God, this guy is such a tease, you know? Like he, he knows he's hot and he's just totally living it up. He's got such a big head, but he's so fun. He's fun to be around. He's got a good sense of humor about it. Like he's able to take what I said and roll with it. Not that she's thinking this out loud, but that's sort of the path of the emotions that she's gonna go through, you know? It's gonna make her laugh. Um, you know, or you could say something like, well, <laughs> if you think I look good now, try putting your glasses back on. You know, something just, you know, something like that. And sometimes, yeah, maybe it sounds a little corny, but these are the things that you do to keep it light and friendly. So um, if you're a guy who's struggling with this idea of how to keep things light, how to not be so serious, honestly, stop thinking about yourself so much and think about how you, can you give whoever you're with a really good time. Um, entertain them, okay? Think of yourself in a way as an entertainer. Now, this doesn't mean be a total idiotic goofball clown, you know, doing headstands and dancing around. You don't have to do that. But the idea here is that you like hopefully that when they're done with their time with you, they go home feeling good. They're like, huh, that was a really fun night. Like this, this person made me smile. This guy was just charming, smooth, and just had me smiling. I feel good after this date. Like that's the feeling that you want to leave people with. And this could be a man, this could be a woman. You could do it with whoever you're with. But if you can do that in such a way if you could interact with them in such a way that they feel really good afterwards, well, that's just gonna make them wanting to get together with you that much more likely. So, I really think when you talk about this in terms of steps, you know, like if you're a guy who just overthinks things, like let's just use making jokes and a, a fear of offending somebody, okay? Well, there's different ways that you can offend people, okay? Because I've said things a ton of time where It'd probably be a little offensive, but it's the way that I said it that the girl's like, oh my God, I can't believe you said that. And it's this level of outrageousness that, you know, granted what I said was maybe a little racy, but because of the way I said it, and I said it with a little smile, a little charm, she's just like, oh, it's like that. She has that feeling of like, I can't believe it, but he's so fun to be around. So. Whatever. Now, if you were to be 
very serious and, you know, and say something that was offensive and did it very awkwardly. Like, you know, like, oh yeah, because you're fat. <laughs> you know, if you said it like kind of like awkwardly and, and it rolled off not very smooth, then that's the difference between you saying, oh, yeah, because you're fat and just owning it and saying with a smile and saying like, yeah, well, you're fat. <laughs> like that method, <laughs> that, that wouldn't come out right. You know what I mean? Like, so it's all how you say it. Um, you know, even going back earlier to where she says, oh, you are so hot. And then if you say, and if you say like, well, yeah, I get that a lot. You know, like, oh, yeah, I know. I get that a lot. So that's, that's a way of saying it a little more playfully. Or if you said it very seriously, you know, if you said, if she said, oh, you are so hot. You're like, yeah, I get that a lot. Like that would be, that wouldn't be funny. That wouldn't be charming. That'd be very, um, a little intimidating, you know, if you said it like that. So, you know, it's, it's not necessarily what you say, it's how you say it. And this is something that people have talked about for a long time. And you've probably seen examples of this in your own life, but it really is true. If you can say something with a little bit of a smile, a little bit of a laugh, you know, that charming, uh, way of saying things, then even the most mundane things that you say can be considered fun and you won't come off so serious all the time. So my suggestion to you guys who are struggling with um, being so serious all the time, I would go out and practice this with people that are not dates. So one of my favorite places to banter with people is the grocery store. When I'm in the checkout line, in the line, because you know, you're with that person for, you know, maybe a minute or two because they're checking things out at the uh, line. So when you're with them, practice saying stuff, you know, um, there's, I mean, and, and you usually want to use the context of wherever you are to bring something up. Like if they've got some funny little sticker on their name tag or, um, Let's see here. You know, you, you just ask them like, uh, you know, how's it going today? Like, you guys look like you're pretty busy in here. Is there a party I don't know about? Or, you know, it's something, something along those lines. I'm not saying say that, but you want to look at the context and um, come up with something. And essentially, by the end of that conversation, your goal should be to make them feel good. Have them be like, huh, this guy was pretty cool. This guy's a nice guy. He's like, this guy's a fun guy to be around. I'm glad he came into you know, my line to check out. If you can leave a person feeling like that by the time you're done, um, well, then you've, you've succeeded in not being so serious and keeping the mood up. So, like I said, if you're a guy who does struggle with just doing this, you need to practice this and just get out there and start interacting with people. And um, I wouldn't start with saying things that could be offensive because you're not at that level yet where you can be smooth about it. You know, I've been doing this for such a long time. I mean, all of the different jobs that I've had in my life, I've interacted with so many you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people, you know, that I've, you know, gotten pretty good at it. Um, and because of what I do now, you know, I'm in charge of groups of people. So I just say things with a, in a different way than you might say if you haven't done the things that I've done. So that's why I'm saying start very simple. Start with people at the mall, at the grocery store, you know, when you go get your oil changed, wherever it is, look at each interaction that you have each day as an opportunity to practice this one skill of lightening, lighting up a little bit. Light, <laughs> what is it? lightening up a little bit. Yes. Um, you don't want to be so serious all the time. And once you do this, then you can start to work your way up to maybe a little more daring things to say. But uh, yeah, you got to just think, don't think about yourself and being nervous. Think about how do I entertain the person right in front of me? So if you guys have any other further questions, feel free to throw them down in the comments below. Um, if you want further one-on-one -on -one coaching and to really work with me one-on-one -on -one to handle, you know, this problem of this challenge, I should say, of getting out of your head and not being so serious all the time. Uh, you can also book one-on-one -on -one coachings with me, which are available in the link down below. We'll see you next time. Cheers.